So, this is an um, ICP video. <laughs> <laughs> and for this reason, we don't stay in the lab, we stay in the coral farm. In an empty coral farm? Yeah, this one we make just new. <laughs> uh, after 18 years, we have to clean sometimes the tanks because we do moving now, getting more and more in farming and not in so much in importing. So we have a development in the species what we have and different type and sometimes we need to do something new to replenish uh, the bacteria, the microbiota, all the things which work together. I do several of this video in German language, so some of you just view it and with uh, translation, but I want to try now to explain it a little bit more. Uh, what's the difference between all these ICP companies and levels and how to find out who do a good job, who do not a good job and what are the different things? Because I see there's a lot of talking and like others always say marketing, whatever. At first of all, because sometimes it's one of the questions we get very often, no, I'm not a scientist. I work for universities and for public aquariums and all for them and give them support and consulting and whatever, but I'm not a scientist. But my lab is full of scientist people, so some of them are uh, PhDs in specific chemistry things, in organic chemistry, in aquatic chemistry, biology, whatever. They're running a lot of stuff, which I highly have to pay them highly that they do the work there. Then we have the other team, people like me, no scientists, but aquarists, which I think is the higher level of education, but okay, not everybody will see it on that way. <laughs> we are the team who keeps the corals alive and try to farm them and to get them. So, and uh, for my history, I started business and in the work in this business is, is 1984. I was some years in the Philippines. I have some thousand dives. We're creating uh, coral farms in the sea. And uh, since the 1995, like that, we start to breed corals in our systems, in our closed system in aquariums. I wanted to have an ICP because I wanted to know what's going on. We had problems, we don't know why corals died, get fade, whatever. We had the same problems like today, but I wanted to know. And then I see that new technology is coming and it was clear from beginning on that this technology, which we use years before in the, in the university, but with some problems. So then I decided to say, okay, then we go this way. So then I wanted to have this technology and at the end we start, I don't know, it's 12 years ago like this. We start, we buy the machines and we sit in front of the machines and then we had a look for it. Oh, how we can, uh, where's the on off? <laughs> what is an ICP? Maybe for the reefer guys who never get in touch with. Okay. Uh, laboratory test. An ICP is the name of one of these lab machines where you can uh, detect all the elements which we need to know in seawater. The technology comes to a laboratory test. In fact, we use several machines to find out all the different uh, elements and the nutrients and halogen, whatever we want. So we have different type of machines like most labs have. So that's not only one machine, but the name of this lab testing is now widely known as ICP. Today it doesn't matter if it's an, uh, which kind of ICP it is, we only talk about how a lab testing is working, how we come in and how you can find out who's uh, reliable lab testing or what and how you know where I can go to have a good interpretation of my lab test. Because at the end an ICP test is nothing else as a blood test which you will get from your doctor if he checks you or want to know something about you. So the usual way is that you don't will, you will not get the lab test direct from the laboratory who takes all the blood uh, uh, levels. No, they go to your doctor and your doctor, they will give you interpretation what is to do. And in the same way it should work when you work with an ICP test. If you have experience over the time and you have a good laboratory software, then you can follow the advice. But the advice is in a lab software, how good they are written is only the half of the way. The other half of the way is the interpretation about that, what you use, what kind of materials you use, how strong is the light, all the things, all the information which the machine cannot know. It's necessary to see if it's good or not. So, and now we come to the point about how we know on how we run our lab. Actual is like that, that we do this ICP testing not only for our farm every day, so we have a few thousand tests in a year which we do only for our own farm. That's why we divide the farming 
and the testing with two different groups of people. We have the chemist and, and, and biologist and lab technician specialist, whatever. They are not allowed to have an aquarium because I want that they produce accuracy and precision analysis. Don't care if they like the number or not. The problem of accurists, and you know it yourself, is mostly that ah, it's also okay like this, but it's not what, what we want. I want to have the data. The other point is our team is the interpretation team. So we work the whole day with cohorts and we do the support with hundreds of people every day. So that's how, why we know how to get rid of some problems. Sometimes it's made by ICP, sometimes by other things like reduce the skimming, raise up the skimming, do another sand, something like that, which, which answer you will never get from the ICP. So all this organic stuff, which plays a role, which we have since long time a test. In 15 years, we have an organic test, which you find on the ICP total test, but it's based on phosphate, not on carbonate. The point is that we look as interpretation as a whole tank. We try to get the whole picture. I was long years in reef. We were building a station in the Philippines, catching station, training all the fishermen. So I know how, what's going up in reef and there are tons of data which you can get from lab testing from all over reefs in the world. So it's unnecessary to jump there in and to make some fancy water tests which are not reliable because they have nothing to do with the aquarium. So our knowledge and that what we do is because we run core farm producing since many 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 years cohorts and doing the support and consulting for the best known aquariums in the world about in their core exhibits. So maybe our videographer can show you one or two thinners of one of these aquariums which we have in our near, which we do since eight years of consulting about it. And exactly that knowledge about these long aquariums, that's what we use for your interpretation and support. Now everybody will understand that I, this I cannot do alone. It's fully impossible to check all the tests, to do other things. So that's why we work with AI, which do a plausibility check of your parameters and will be compared to all these aquariums and all other customers. And so we, we, we do actually around 500 tests a day. So it's a lot of data there, which helps to make a good plausibility of all your water levels. And on the other side, we have our interpretation team, which are really experienced reefers. So we have aquariums, we have farms, and we, we also consult the large aquariums, which we have sometimes very, very old aquariums, so 20 years and older. So that's why we get our knowledge about how to run an ICP and how to run an aquarium. Claude, one question, how often do I have to make an ICP test? Oh, it depends a little bit on, on the status of your aquarium. So if you have some problems and we want to get rid of it, let me say your cyanobacteria as you have dinoflagellates, whatever for issues of coral getting weak and you don't know why. We do normally three, four tests week by week. And then normally if the tanks comes back to and we solve the problem, which normally it's quite simple to do that, then I recommend once a month. It's a good level to keep it fully under control. If you are well experienced and you learned about to, to use the numbers of the ICP and you learned yourself about how to do the interpretation and also the lab software helps you, then it's usually it's all two, three months the ICP test should be okay. So it depends a little bit what you want. If you want to run a high-end SPS tank, you, you check a little bit more often than with a softy tank or with a SOA tank or something like that. As I said, I cannot do everything alone. So it's impossible to control all the parameters, all the levels. In our lab, interpretation team altogether is more than 12 people working every day, full hour to do that. The way how we get the information to you is a thing that we have a unique uh, ICP consulting program. In the most countries of the world, you will find a certified ICP lab consultant. So they were here in training. We train them all the day long how to do the interpretation, how to get rid of the problems. And so if you choose one of these consultants, which you can do at the lab website, you get, will get the link after this video. So you can find there a consulting in your country or in your area, and you can choose these people. So they are highly known. We test them. We know that they have experience and they can help you out and they make the interpretation for your aquarium and they tell you exactly what you need. They don't sell you a lot of fancy things, which is not necessary. So, but they tell you exactly how to change the aquarium, how to work with all these absorbers, carbon, lights, UV, filtrations, everything you want to know. And they are so good trained that they can 
uh, have you in very short days they will can solve your problems in the aquarium and you choose them and automatically they will also get always your results and all your information you put in the lab software so that you have the perfect service and this service is for free as long as you have our ICP test the service is, is then for free for you and you can find it uh, under our website this lab.photomarine.de and so you have a great knowledge you have a great service and the ICP is made from aquarists not from scientists or people running out and into the seas where there's nothing to know about because we run reef tanks and they're totally different like in the sea the sea cam helps them by self they don't need to adjust any element and look you can see one of the big mistakes people do nowadays very simple in the reef the corals have food they eat and while they eat they get all what they want they get the trace elements they get the fat they get the proteins everything they get if we look only on the water it's the same like we look only about our air and a good air quality helps me nothing when i have nothing to, to feed in the aquarium it's totally different we cannot feed the corals like in nature so we have to find methods to bring them the elements and stuff what they need over the water and that shows the whole difference and that shows why ICP lab should not look for natural seawater it should look for the situation in a reef tank and then you can run tanks over many years and save most money of it because you don't need to buy a lot of fancy stuff which you don't need so check it out try it out from the marine ICP is worldwide available and we are really fast because usually we need less than one day to make all your uh, analysis and send it back on the, as email or over the supporter in consulting. We have now actually over 50 well-trained people and certified people in the world. They are all good stores, very experienced over 10 years old where you get then your interpretation for your crime and you will see you will have them a really good success with it. So this is why no lab there's all the same machine, that's the pure technology and that, what we do here is emotion, is passion and is empathy for the course and that is what you need and that's where we help you out to use the numbers from a farm to turn it into success in your reef tank. Stay there, have fun, have a nice Sunday and look into your aquarium because these animals are the greatest in the world you can have. Bye bye!